So, 25 years ago, Robo Wars premiered on British TV, starting robot combat across the Atlantic Ocean. This show brought us legends of Hypnodisc, Razor, Chaos 2, and my personal favorite, Beam. So just for fun, and because Tenny's Battlebots would be on hold, because my copy of the RA2 Battlebots mod isn't working correctly, I decided to start my own wars, just for the fun of it. And starting Heat A, it's already proving to be a jam-packed episode, because Beam wants to be matching against Bigger Brother in Adventure Series 6. And two is so similar, they have so different robots, King B and Panic Attack duke it out. Razor's gonna make sure Spawn Again doesn't spawn again, and Deer Thor is gonna have a lobster for breakfast. At least, or at least he'll try to. It's a pretty weird lineup, but it works. So why wait? Let's kick off the series! Cause it's time to let the wolves begin! And now kicking off the series, Bigger Brother, that's a good clip on Bigger Brother kicking off as Beamoth now tries to self fry Bigger Brother, making sure they don't, but Beamoth self fries his now flips over Bigger Brother, keeping them staying aggressive and not pitting them onto the wall. And already, Bigger Brother is in a lot of trouble right now, and if they don't get back on track, they can easily be thrown out of the arena like right now! What the fuck? <laughs> wow! What a match! And Beamoth! So, sadly, Bigger Brother gets a dishonorable title of the first loss of series. Letting Beamoth go to the Heat semi-final. Next up, King Bee and Panic Attack. Two so similar yet so different robots of boxes with lifters on them. Who'll win? Who'll lose? Let's see now. And now coming in already. Oh, King Bee gets one the Panic Attack. Getting them onto their side. Getting right onto their side and now lifting them right on top of them. King Bee is lifting Panic Attack. Panic Attack gets a little lifter. Onto nothing. Panic TV is literally lifting Panic Attack into the air. And already, Panic Attack is in a lot of trouble right now. They have to get back in the battle if they think they're gonna win the match. But to me, at the moment, it's currently off King B. Panic still keeping Panic Attack on top of them. And there, and yep, that, there it is. That, that is the pit release bumper there. Whoa! Panic Attack! Now they did lips on them. Could they throw King B into the pit? Who knows? They're both so close yet so far! Whoa, nearly getting in! I already, but King B is getting right back out. Panic Attack is currently on top. Panic Attack is up. Whoa, King B is getting right underneath Panic Attack. Oh! Just the edge, forgot about that one. It's Stay on there for too long and you'll get a washer on you. Or whatever you decide to put on there. Anyway, King B is now, now both Lola trying to get to each other's sides right now. But King B drives right over Panic Attack and Panic Attack gets a good lift there. Panic at oh, King B gets right underneath Panic Attack, that's a good lift. Still keeping Panic Attack on top of them. I think that's that, that's a good aggression and control there a lot. There's Panic Attack, whoa, that's a good lift there, and another great lift, and another. Still keeping Panic Attack on top, Panic Attack gets a little lift there, one with nothing. Um, hitting the pit least bumper again. Uh, are, are you worried that the pit's already been out? Um, but King B is still keeping Panic Attack right on top. Uh, Tang is like a sword trying to get off. Um, what photo team is this? Oh, now there's a release. Tang attack. That's a good left from. That's a good, good left from King B. King B. That's another great left from King B. Tang attack. That's a good left. Whoa! Throwing King B onto the air. Now that he's both brought so close to the pit. Who's gonna go in and look at what? What just happened? Tang attack is driven right into the pit. So in a rather strange turn of events. Panic Attack gets a Panic Attack and drives into the pit, letting King B drive into the Heat semifinal. Next up, Spawn Again is going to try to spawn into the Heat semifinal. Will Razor have a word of that? I don't know. Let's see! Alright, and now, coming in, Spawn Again, whoa! Starting on the flip, another flip, a third flip, and a fourth. Spawn Again is flipping around Razor like it's a pancake. Not letting Razor self fries, but Spawn again is still keeping aggressive, nearly throwing Razor out of the arena. Razor successfully self rides Spawn again, still, still spawning, still putting on Razor. This, this is the most reliable we've seen in the machine thus far. And already Razor now trying to get the Spawn again side. Still, both robots now still trying to get, get to each other's sides. Who's gonna make it first? But I'm already going over the flame pit. I don't really know if there's any damage being done at already. Look at that, Razor is doing some damage. I can see it amongst the flame. Razor is pinching down on spawn again. And I think, look at that! 
the tip of Spawn Again Flipper. Flip, flip right off. Spawn Again's have to change his strategy now. Because if they don't, they, they really can't. If they, because if they don't change the strategy right now, I don't really know if they can get more flips in. Already, both robots off the flame, flame pit. Not really. Razor still now pinning spawn again. Still pinning spawn again. But I think those are riding up the flipper now. Spawn again. Not choosing the flip. Strangely, I think it's to get a few control points here and there. Not too sure. Spawn again. Uh, Alright, both robots are, are staying aggressive, staying aggressive, Razor trying to get the spot against side, um, I don't know the beak's working right now, it looks like the beak's down, Devin raised it in a little bit, already, so I think we're about a minute into the match, um, the very, both, I, the camera is also in the experience and technical difficulties, dear apologies. As both robots are still trying to get through each sides. Uh, Razor is now trying to pin one again onto the wall, but Razor is now driving on the flipper like last time. But weirdly, they are still not choosing to. One again is still not choosing to flip. They have all the opportunities right here. The camera is still experiencing a lot of technical difficulties, strangely. And uh, Razor now onto this side. One again is still. Uh... Okay, right. So, Swan Guys and User Flipper, Razor's been aggressive. This is a pretty tough match to call. And already, Swan Again is still trying to get the raised Swan Gain side. Um, Razor is still going. So now, I think, trying to pin. I think pinning Swan Gain onto the angle riders. He's the big stingy. I don't know if it's because it's active decision or if it really doesn't work. I'm not too sure about into the final minutes of the match, and I think it's going to be a judge's decision. Right, yes, it's a, it's a JD. Let's see what the judges think. Right, I've gotten word from the judges, and they've gone for Razor. So, spawn again does not spawn into the heat semi-final. I think it's because they did not flip ever since the start of the match. It might be due to Razor's aggression or the control, I'm not too sure. Anyway, next up, the I the boys from Ireland, Theodore, faces off against the lobster of Thermidor. And already Let starting the off the match. Whoa! Theodore starts off the match with a good flip on the Thermidor. Fur flipping up, flipping Thermidor around and round. That is some amazing control there from Theodore. Already nearly falling, pinning Thermidor onto the arena corner, into the corner of the arena. Already Still flipping around Thermidor. Thermidor. Whoa! That's a great flip there. Uh, Theodore in control. This is a first. I did not expect that though. Nobody expected this. Theodore's on top and Theodore drives over the flame pit. And that, so that's the first thing you've seen if Theodore does not light on fire. But hey, that's maybe because I'm already too perfect. Anyway, Theodore is still flipping around Thermidor in a big upset. Uh, Theodore is still flipping around Thermidor. Oh! Both robots have their flippers locked together. Never mind, they both got unlocked and Theodore is still flipping Thermidor. This is amazing control from the boys from Ireland. What an upset this could be. If the Thermidor does not get the act together, we could be seeing Theodore make it, make it into the heat semi-final. And already, ready, Thermidor, on top, top of Theodore. That's a good flip from Theodore. Theodore is dominating right now. And already, hitting me. Thermidor onto the wall, that is a great aggression and great control from Deatoy. Deatoy is still getting right there. All right, that, now that is demanding a release. But Deatoy is still going back at it again. Oh, that's a great flip from Deatoy. Deatoy is still flipping around Thermidor. Whoa, that's a great flip. And another great flip. Deatoy is absolutely dominant right now. That's a great flip from Deatoy. I gotta get some video toys. This we have been going on for about two minutes now. About two minutes. Actually, correction, one. Actually, now it's is actually right on the planet, but that's not a lie on fire. And I think now we're gonna be in a minute into the match. We're in a minute into the match. Um, Deatsaur is still in control. I can easily see them winning the judges' decision. I mean, now pinning Thermidor onto the angle grinders. As Thermidor got. Tries to flip to nothing. Theodore is flipping back. 
Viator is still constantly in control and aggressive. Whoa! That's a great flip from Viator. Viator is still flipping around Thermidor. That's a great flip from Thermidor. Viator again, another great flip. This has been an all Viator match. I, I, I think we're in the final 30. Still fine. I think we're in the final 30 seconds now. Somebody, um... Viator is still flipping. Flipping over once more. Thermidor is still constantly self-riding. We haven't seen Thermidor or self right That's more than uh, Diaz or Oxy Flip. Um, the match is over Diaz. Anyway, and I think now we're actually getting close to the final 10 seconds of the match. I think we're in the final, we're in the final 5. This match will be going to the judges. Let's see who will be the decision now. And already getting word from the judges, they have indeed gone for Deator, letting them go right into the Heat semi-final. Anyways, this is how your Heat semi-final looks right now. It's BMO faces off against Deator, and Razor faces off against King B. Oh boy, what a semi-final this will be. And already now picking up the match. It's, oh, what an end for Deator. As Beamer starts flipping Deator round and round. But Deator is now firing back, flipping over Beamer as they try to stop right. Keeping it aggressive, not letting Beamer stop right from up. Beamer still trying to stop right. This could be done for Beamer. Who knows? This has been a surprisingly close match just from the start. And already. Um, BMOF gets a good flip in, that's a good flip from BMOF. Gets another good flip from BMOF, another great flip from BMOF. Stumbling Diaz all around. Do they come out the arena? Yes, they can! So sadly, BMOF is doubling down and sending Diaz all the way back to Ireland. And next up, Razor is gonna try to dethrone King B. Will King B keep their king title and keep the throne? Who knows? Already coming in this King B. That's a great lift of King B. Lifting Razor up into the air. Trying to keep Razor right on top. Anyway, as King B gets Razor right on top, I think they're trying to throw them onto the floor flipper, I assume. Razor is in a lot of trouble right now. And I am not exactly sure why King B isn't moving much. I think they're I think they're trying to move. Okay, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Right. Getting right up, but don't stand there for way too long, boys! You're both gonna get Oh, and Razor gets right flip right over from the floor flipper. Well, oh, I was expecting a big, a big flying lesson, but sometimes it, the beggars can't be cheap. Anyway, King B is currently now on there. And now there's the damage Razor pinching in on King B. Onto the lifter bed. I think they could be doing some good damage well. Uh, Ready and both robots over. Alright, it's King B. Oh, King B is still in a lot of trouble right now. Razor is still pinching in on that on that lifter there of uh, King B. I think we're about uh, two minutes, a minute into the match there. Uh, the match now left. Uh, and already, that's a good lesson. That's been good lesson from King B. But Razor is still keeping it aggressive. Trying, now trying to get the King B's side. Now they are, they actually do, they did get right on the King B. Oh! And another, now still biting in on King B's lifter. I think at some point that lifter might just come right off. But this is what now, Razor, Razor is currently now whooping up King B. I'm trying to push him, but now pushing. Everybody both go up near the floor flipper. I think King B's on their heads now. Um, King, now Razor's coming now. Razor is still. Both robots, Razor's not pinning, King B is onto the angle grinder, he's there. I acknowledge that's what's gonna happen next. Razor is still, still pinning. It's about two minutes into the match there right now. And uh, Razor, Razor's gonna have to release now. And already, yep, there's, right, there's another good fight there. Razor fighting again. As King B tried to self right, but Razor's not letting go. I don't know what else can happen now. Alright. But that's a good, that's a good bite on, that's a good bite on the King B from Razor. Razor could be doing a lot of damage right now. And I think both robots are gonna take flying lessons. Don't stay up too long, boys. <laughs> there goes the floor flipper activating right up, and King B self right. Oh, ready. We're, we're now in the final 30 seconds. Look, Gavinex is King B is smoking. That could matter a lot. This match will be going the distance. 
might be going to distance, who knows? And yep, we'll have a final 10 seconds. If these two don't, don't buy at some point, and these 10 seconds just not going to be going to the distance, because this match is going straight to the judges. And word from the judges, King B has lost the crown as Razor moves on to Heat Final. So your Heat Final looks like this, Behemoth vs Razor. But these two bots actually do have a lot of history together. Because back in Series 3, Behemoth and Razor both fought in the World Championship Final, with Razor taking the crown. And then in Extreme 2, both robots rematched the game in the All-Star Tournament, with Razor winning once more. Not to mention, in Season 4, the year before, both robots took part in the Soviet Annihilator. But because my PC doesn't have enough space, and because I don't want to watch the finale, oh, Matilda, I couldn't show it to you right now, so just make do with these pictures instead. Oh, look at that. Firemoth Kill Switch. And so now, now that we're both, now that we're all acquitted to V2's history, and Razor constantly beating Behemoth in all of its matches, will Behemoth finally win, right? Win against Razor today? Or will Razor imitate real life and beat Behemoth today? Anyway, it's time to let the Heat Final begin! And already now coming in, Behemoth, that's a good flip from Behemoth! Flipping over Razor, flipping Razor right back over. Razor self right, but Behemoth is still on the attack. Remember, we have seen real life, Behemoth has done this before. They have dominated battles, but Razor came right back, fighting. But, but this has been all Behemoth! You can, you can easily throw Razor out of the arena! There's a big release, but a yeah! And a hit, and a big upset, Behemoth is facing Razor! So, in a big turnaround of events, and in a big upset, Behemoth has defied the odds and beaten Razor and become our first series semi-finals. Anyway, tune in next time as Heat, Heat B comes around as we're gonna try to crown our second. Anyway, this is the start of an amazing series. I hope you'll enjoy it just as I did. And have a good day now. Bye bye If you feel inspired to build a real robot, building the actual robots is a dangerous process. Please do so with a great amount of care. And if you're a minor, build your robot under adult supervision and with assistance. Please be safe building robots and have fun while doing so.